Good evening. Myself, Muhammad Shakir Hussain Chaudhary from Department of History, Karimbanj College. The topic of my presentation is Forest Conservation Without Conservancy, a study on the Kachar Reserve Forest and its deforestation. These are the outline of my uh, paper. Uh, the preservation and management of a specific forest area with the purpose of preventing spoilation is commonly referred to as forest conservation. It does not, however, imply that natural resources are not used at all, rather it reflects resources used that is both efficient and sustainable. The forest of Kachar, a forest conversion is Kachar is based on two grounds. One is due to the uh, shifting cultivation in the hills and other is the a huge timber trade, uh, exploitation of timber by the trades in the plain area. This is the diagram which shows the total area of the Kachar and the area located in the as a reserve forest of the Kachar. Uh, the objective of the study is to find to study the conservation of forest by forest department, to study demographic changes due to land grants, to encounter the deforestation of on Kachar reserve forest. These are the literature which I have gone through for preparing this paper. The background, uh, historical background of reserve forest in Kachar is that while it is understandable, un understandable that the purpose was to promote forest renewal, it is strange to believe that which while efforts were made to keep lone tree from felling, nothing was done to prevent the horrible devastation of several square kilometer forest area of Kachar each year due to Jumi. The reserve forest was declared by 1877 in the province of Assam is 1910 square mile, where the uh, total area of Kachar is 5000 and the reserve forest area is 70, 745 square mile, which is uh, which amount to be 15% of the total area of Kachar. This is the uh, reserve forest, list of the reserve forest in the Kachar. These are the percentage shown that almost 13, 10% of the total forest area lies in Kachar or in Assam of Assam and almost 39% of the reserve forest were in Kachar. Uh, deforestation, plantation, immigrants and expansion of agriculture. Plantation is a move by the British government to enhance the um, revenue of the district and they introduced tea plantation and accordingly they gave favorable land grants in favorable term to the tea planters. So by 1865, almost 100, 119 gardens are open to the open to the public. Total area of the tea plantation is approximately 27,787 acres. By the end of the year 1896, the total labor force on the district of Kachar was 1,22,750, which is 20% of the total Assam labor force. Immigration. Immigrants. There was a genuine demand for land in Kachar as the population grew rapidly as a result of immigrants. To meet this demand, many initiatives were made to free up a section of the forest reserve that covers so much of the district to the cultivation. The, the, this is the demographic chart. If we look from 1835, just after the annexation of Kachar, the population was 50,000. Whereas by 1931, it goes to 5,70,531, almost 11 times more than the in 11 times rise by 100 years. With the rise in population, there was a genuine demand for the expansion of Kachar, expansion of agriculture. And uh, if we look into the circular issued in 1894 by the Revenue Department of Assam, which clearly shows that the claim of cultivation are stronger than the claim of forest preservation. And wherever an effective demand for cultivable land exists and can only be supplied from forest area, the land should ordinarily be relinquished without hesitation. This, this is the chart which shows the extension of agriculture from 1882 to 1896. Expansion of unexpected British forest policy prioritize agriculture over forest resources protection. It was because of the forest were considered as a hindrance to the agriculture rather than a boon, and hence a hindrance to the 
expansion. Deforestation. While if we look into the uh, documents where, where which speak about 7,641 acres in Kachar district inner line reserve for extension of agriculture, even at that time, we then Commissioner Cotton expressed the opinion that the additional land need to be opened for cultivation. Nothing had done, operated, carried out in direction were in, insufficient. Whereas by that time, a huge number of land or uh, great amount of land were already disforested from the reserve forest. According to the Deputy Commissioner of the Kachan, the reserve was established at a time when crossing the inner line was restricted and the entire area between the line and the district southern boundary totaling 325760 acres was declared as reserve forest without any special inquiries as cultivation was out of the question and at the time despite its suitability for farming the deforested area has been stripped of valuable timber due to uncontrolled logging and over 30,000 people have already applied for settlement. Discussion and funding. This is the table that shows how in period of time there was an extension of uh, agriculture, agriculture from 1830 to 1900. We can see that uh, by 1900 aggregate, aggregate assessment was higher than the earlier settlement. It was nearly identical to the one that has been affected for more than 70 years. As the above figure only show Territorial that was not un, that was under resettlement at that time. The tremendous increase in population area that has happened is it. Transformation of reserve forest land to cultivable land. The British government has initiated forest conservation by introducing reserve forest, but the idea of conservation was not able to support the British administrator idea of rising revenue. As a result, the concept of Conservation had to be abundant and many areas designated as reserve forest had to be deforested in order to accommodate immigrants and agriculture economy. The figure depicts the amount of cultivable land obtained by clearing the reserve forest. This is a table which shows that uh, the cultivable land from deforested area of reserve forest. The total plain area of Kachar in 1896-97 is one code 20800 acres and of this code 54292 acre or nearly one third are included in forest reserve. In 1900 it was estimated that 84 percent of the land owned by the ordinary villages in Kachar was waste while more than 70 percent of the land used for tea plantation was waste. Waste account up at least 51 percent of the district population area. This figure shows that what are in percentage, what are, what are the land distribution in Kachar? The conclusion, the British formed the forest department with the primary goal of forest conservation in mind. Hence, there was a need to develop forest policy for forest conservation. The colonial government conservation action in Kachar were meant to meet commercial interests rather than protect forest resources. Because the foundation of the British policy was to maximize revenue, the land grants were increased as a result of this approach and as a result there was a major demographic shift due to immigrants from other parts of the country. Following the expiration of the immigrants contract, they were allowed to settle down by deforesting the reserve forest, which was effective, effectively against forest department regulation. The colonial administrator was always of the opinion that revenue maximization could be achieved without regard for the forest. Thank you. Well,